So uh, we'll jump into another core concept in speak, which is the idea of fields. And there is another module in speak called custom categories and insights. And happy to share some more resources on that, but there's a pretty specific difference between that. And so what are fields? If you've used any sort of advanced data analytics platform or really any email management platform, you've got this idea of columns or fields that you are trying to manage. So in this case, what we're finding in Speak is you're a researcher and you've done a bunch of interviews just as one example, and you have the household income and you have the demographic profiles of those people. And previously within Speak, and I can jump into the app and look at this a little bit here now, if we were to do it, we would actually use this module tags. And so you would populate that information into tags, which was great. It still allowed you to do some filtering and analysis, but for example, it wasn't explicitly labeled age range. So you couldn't use that as a filter uh, or you didn't couldn't label it as a number or you couldn't label it as a currency. You couldn't label it as a location. And so... When we go now into speak, you can see there's fields. There's actually a list of sample fields. And these are ones that we've seen uh, people request and share uh, as valuable fields for us. And you can literally just add them to the list. And you can also then create your own field. As an example, uh, I'll just do one. I could say customer lifetime uh, revenue. So if you're maybe trying to analyze customer feedback, you could say, hey, here is how much revenue this customer has brought us in lifetime value. And you can actually say this is currency. You've now set up that field. And if you're uploading a file, you can manually add into this field. You can upload a CSV, which we'll talk about in a bit, or you can also even use the API to populate this field. And because it's a currency, you can also do some amazing analysis and filtering and say, I only want to look at customers who have made us more than 5,000 in revenue. And so it opens up all these incredible use cases. And that's not just on input and within speak. We're also through the API and through Zapier or any of these other tools, we can send those fields over to it too. As example, if I want to send a magic prompt, run a magic prompt. And if you don't know magic prompt, we got some great resources on that. I want to get the response. I can have those fields and I can then send that information. I can populate a CRM. It really does open up a lot of capabilities within the platform. And we'll continue to educate and share opportunities and knowledge on this, but it's a really core concept in sort of an analytics platforms. And it makes me feel at home after all this time in these platforms over the years. So that's my little brief on fields. Uh, I did show one example. I can now say if I'm a researcher, hey, from these set of one-on-one -on -one interviews, I only want to analyze sessions with people aged 25 to 34 with a household income over 100,000 and who are located specifically in the United States. And that can all be managed through this fields.